Yeah, I mean, James White's about uh, kind of about a somewhat somewhat troubled twenty something um, New Yorker who is in the midst of dealing uh, amidst his own uh, troubles, uh, dealing with his uh, mother's illness, uh, cancer, and um, and kind of about their bond. Um, uh, yeah, so it's kind of a universal universal story in that way, but um, told in a specific way through through Josh's eyes and specific you know, situations that he's been through. First of all, it's, it's really hard to know with any director, whether it's a first time director or not. It's, it's uh, anytime you do a movie period, it's, uh, it's a little bit like painting in the dark. And then it, when it's finished, they turn the lights on and you look at it and you go, oh, that's, we did a good thing. Or, or well, we learned something, you know? Um, I feel like it's really kind of interesting for me with, uh, with Josh because um, those guys at Sean Antonio and Josh, all of them at Borderline, uh, it's a it's a three-headed monster. They they support each other. They really present as a team. They produce uh, each other's movies, and and Josh was the last man up. So we've already seen his amazing work as a producer. We know, you know, you know him as a filmmaker, but I always at least found that kind of his sidewalk act as a producer. It's there's a little bit of you know I think a producer has to have a little bit of a con man to him and and has a couple of secrets he's keeping and and, and moving the shells around and uh, so he had to for him to make this film which is so uh, so raw and so vul vulnerable um, as as his first time directing outing um, following the success of the other two guys. But you just take a bet, you know. You right. you put you put money down and you spin the wheel, and you don't know how it's going to turn out. Oh, yeah, I mean, I I've, I've been friends with Josh since uh, a little bit before Martha Marcy May Marlene, which he produced, and um, and then we've been kind of we've all been friends since, and then um, yeah, and then Josh kind of asked me to to do it while he was still kind of in the early process of of uh, of writing it. Uh, so I, I've I've been around with this project through through a few drafts and before before principal shooting. If anything, I have, I have nothing specific that I would want an audience to walk away with. Um, I mean, what I love about art and what's always sort of funny about talking about art is that some, you make art so that, because you don't know how to say it, you don't know how to express yourself. And, and um, I can't think of which painter had said this, but he was talking about his work and he was like, well, I can't talk about it, that's why I paint. And so I guess there's something nice about whatever happens at the end of a film, the stuff that can't be talked about, the stuff that I don't know what people will take away from it. I know that I had a really amazing, strange, transformative response watching it for the first time yesterday. But I, I assume that no one else will have the exact same experience as I had, and I, and I think that's a good thing. Yeah. It's kind of a love story. Um, yeah. It's a... Uh, it's, I feel like both, it's, I feel like you and Cynthia both are kind of fighting for survival yep. um, in this movie. And there's something really beautiful about that where, you know, she's fighting kind of for her, her literal life and, 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 uh, I'm going to talk all over your stuff, but like, you know, Dude, no. Chris is, is kind of fighting for, uh, you know, this existence as this young man that he is, that ultimately you, you, that can't survive, you know? You have to let that guy die to, so that the, the adult grown-up man can kind of be born out of the ashes. Um, and it's the, the crazy thing is that I think Sundance is, is full of, and young, young filmmakers um, all the time make, love to make films about their wallowing and their angst and stuff. And, and the thing that's beautiful about this movie is you guys never go there. Um, if anything, it's it's you and uh, everybody's fighting to get out of that, um, and and the you know the the obstacles to it are like are are real. It's heart all over this movie.